Let me show you how to make this incredible effect in two different ways. Let's start with finding some media. You can go out and film it, or you can do what I did. I just found some stuff um, under Pexels. And the first thing we need is uh, the girl. So let's download her. Okay, so we've got a girl, and we want to see exactly what she's doing. So she walks a couple steps and then stops, and that's where we want to start our effect, right when she stops walking. Uh, we can have her walk on the wire, too, if we want. And then right there, when the foot goes up, uh, it's kind of like scaring the birds right there. So the first thing we need to do is separate this girl from the rest of that image. And there are two ways to do that. And I'm going to show you both ways, but I'm going to show you individually. So let's work on the first way first. Under your video tab, go over to AI tools. And what we're after here today is AI portrait. Turn it on and it's already finished. It's that fast. This is the power of Filmora. Uh, edge feather. I already know we're going to want a little bit, but we don't want a lot because it just starts to look blurry. So let's just start it with two. Now, if we needed to keyframe it, we could, but we don't need to keyframe this one. So we're already finished. Uh, now let's just take this and slide it up to track two because we're, now we're going to place a background behind her. And for that, I've chosen these telephone wires with... Uh, some birds sitting on them. Now right now you can see that there's a small problem with this one. Uh, we can fix that by going to change the project um, aspect ratio and we're going to switch it to 16 by 9 so it fills the screen. Um, that's just because that's the last project I did. I was doing it short. Uh, but that's a bonus tip there. That's how you can change things. Uh, let's go ahead and lock this bottom one in so it doesn't move around on us and we'll highlight the upper one with the girl and go ahead and highlight her I like to bring it back to basic so I can see what's going on but I usually use my keyboard and or my mouse for this one so we want to put her on a wire uh, I chose this one because there's three wires and one foot looks a little above the other foot now we're going to scroll through just slightly now you can see why walking doesn't really work. Now I can make that work by keyframing the position and have her actually move slightly to the left uh, as she moves. But for the point of this video, we're going to, uh, right where she stops to move right there, we're going to just cut that. And we'll delete that part. So now we're going to start it right there. And for that one, I'm going to put her bottom foot on the bottom wire top foot wherever it lands and we're just going to scroll through and just look and make sure the feet stay on the wires and see that one is in her hand is lined up her foot is lined up so that is exactly what we want the foot goes up the birds get scared and that's pretty much the end of the illusion right there okay you have to be careful uh, because that scene that bottom wire disappears on you you see that? So now she's just kind of suspended out into midair. So when you're doing these kind of effects and illusions, you need to really pay attention to just about everything. So I would end that quick clip probably right about there. Or I'd go ahead and put her up on a different wire or something like that. Um, now, let's look at the scale. Does she look like the right scale? It's, now, when I scale this, her hands are going to go off the wire, but we'll fix that in a minute. Should she be bigger? I don't know. Should she be smaller? Well, she's not the size of a bird. So I think where we had her is pretty appropriate. Uh, but that's something else you'll need to look into. Now, what are we thinking about moving her to this wire? I like that wire. I'm going to make her a little smaller. And let's scroll back and make sure her feet stay on the wire. So far, so good. Her hands on. That foot's up in the air, but we don't care about that. So let's take a quick peek and see how we did. Yep, there she goes. 
And up she goes, and that's pretty good. And now when the birds fly, uh, the wire jiggles just a little bit, but not too bad. And you can put a little uh, blur motion or feather it a little more and just make that look pretty darn close. Move her up one notch. Let's watch one more time. And there she goes. And there you go. So that's how you put a girl on a wire. Let me show you another way to put a girl on a wire. So what we'll do is uh, unlock that track. We're just going to take all of that and delete it and start over again. Let's take that girl again. And go ahead and put her on track two because we know that's where we're going to want her. Now we need to separate her again from this image. Um, there are a few different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you another pretty easy way that Filmora allows. And again, it's under AI tools, but not portrait. This time we're going to go with the smart cutout. The smart cutout will track her movements for us uh, and remove everything we want to remove. Now, here's a couple things you're going to want to know. Um, first off, we're going to need to increase the size of this. Okay. What we're going to do is start choosing things to highlight. Okay. You can change the color of that overlay color if you like. And you can put it in a preview mode, but we don't need to do that quite yet. So let's just keep highlighting and making sure we've got all the bits and pieces of her in purple that we want. We, in other words, all of it. And you can make it squiggly lines, go down the leg. You can see where it skips. Just go ahead and just keep going over. Uh, down the leg. I'm going to show you how we're going to go fix that leg part in a minute. We're going to get all the leg, all the black that we can possibly get. And we're going to hit push this little picture of the hand. And that's pan. And we're going to scroll down, go back to the brush. And let's try to grab as much as we can. That's a pretty good shot under the arm. And let's get a little more of the hair back there. That's pretty good. Pan up again. Or pan down, I should say. Let's get the rest of her. And uh, we should be able to just kind of go like that. Most of it. Most of it. Got all of that. A little bit of the black. And a tiny bit of the back of that uh, shoe. And that's it. And we go ahead and uh, we click to start the cutout. Now you can change the brush size right here because if you need to really zoom in on something, um, I'm going to undo that. If you really need to zoom in on something, uh, you can see the brush is huge. You can make the brush smaller to get in there. Um, the edge thickness, I'll just show you what happens. You see that? See it goes out. Okay, we're just going to leave it at zero. And you can edge feather it. See, it just kind of blurs it in. We'll leave the blur on it. Let's go ahead and click to start. I'm going to fast forward this part for you. But what it's doing is tracking motion and keeping the smart cut out um, as it tracks the motion. Okay, make sure you save when it's completed. And we have something very similar to AI Portrait now. Although sometimes it's not quite as good as AI Portrait, in my opinion. But it um, also depends on the image. Let's go ahead and take the birds and the wire, drop them in the background again. Um, let me switch the aspect ratio real quick. So that makes a little more sense. Let's lock the track. Click on the first track. Grab the girl. I think we've decided we're going to go for the second wire here now. And let's see where we need to cut part of her out. I don't want the walking part. I don't like that. Right there is what I'm after. Right as she goes to kneel down. Alright, I'm sorry. Lean over. Okay. And let's get her up on the wire. One foot's in the air, which is okay. I'm going to scale that down the hair. Just making sure the hand hits the wire. There we go. Dead on. Foot up. Bird scared. And I would cut it right about there. That's pretty cool. The bird looks like it lands on her head. Anyway, that's it, guys. That is two ways to create this incredible effect. And um, we thank everybody for watching. Make sure you hit that bell for notifications. 
subscribe to the channel and we'll see you real soon on the next Filmora video.